Yes, father. I understand. No, of course not. I wouldn't dare tarnish our clan's name with a shoddy performance today of all days. I didn't pick up the art of the blade at such an early age only to fumble when it matters. I know how important forming an alliance with this noble clan is. You have my word. I won't disappoint you. Ah, <sighs> God forbid if I did. He would never let me hear the end of it. He's been boasting about me as prodigy of a son to every poor fool willing to lend him an ear. The most talented swordsman of the northern clans, he calls me. Ah, oh, what I wouldn't give to not be reminded of the reputation I have to uphold every hour of the day. Ah, worry not. I'll take Angus and Spirit to the stables. It looks like these old boys could use a drink of water. Maybe an apple or two. Isn't that right, you gluttons? <clears throat> right. A young lord does not coo at his steed. My apologies. I'll meet you at the castle grounds at noon. Take care, father. At last, some peace and quiet. I finally have room to organize my thoughts. I feel like all I've been hearing is talk about this tournament, the entire journey here. Betrothal this, alliance that. If I had to hear another word about it, I might just go completely mad. Still. Traveling along wide stretches of empty land for the past week has been a nice change of pace. Certainly different from those boring old stone walls back home. The town is so... quiet compared to this one. Then again, it's not every day that a little hamlet like this is flooded with noblemen from all over the kingdom. Oh. Whoa there. I'm sorry. Are you hurt? I nearly knocked you off your horse with my head stuck in the clouds. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Um, uh, pardon me for asking, but you wouldn't happen to be a part of the townsfolk here, would you? I'm afraid I'm a new visitor to this estate and I would appreciate some guidance. Oh, you are? Excellent. I take it you're on your way to the stables as well. Only a nod. You're not a talkative one, are you? That's awfully suspicious. Don't you think? Hiding your face under that mask and rather fine cloak of yours doesn't help you either. Tell me the truth. You didn't happen to, uh, procure it from a drunken lord, did you? <laughs> I jest. <laughs> Worry not. I won't press the matter further. Please. Lead the way, friend. Your village must be exceptionally busy today, isn't it? Looks like everyone has their hands full preparing for the great feast tonight after the games conclude. I can just smell the warm ale brewing over the fire. They've got a lot of stomachs to fill with all these lords and their clans coming in from all over the land. I can only imagine how much quieter it is without all these guests arriving like the cavalry. Your lord made sure to invite every single nobleman in the land for this occasion. I should know. My father practically dragged me out here the moment he received an invitation. Uh, you might want to be wary of these men. I'm sure this little town of yours will be filled with drunken fools after today. Uh, though it might be for good entertainment. <laughs> Oh, are these the stables? Ah, perfect. Let me just... Here we go, boys. Have some apples for your service. Ah, good lads. Get some rest, you two. Would you like one for your horse as well? She's been staring very intently at my bag from the moment I brought the apples out. <laughs> Here you go, girl. Ah... Oh. She's a beauty, isn't she? Like a well-bred mare fit for royalty. Hmm. Reminds me of my trusty steed, Spirit, over here. Named after his fiery temperament. <laughs> he can be a bit of a devil at times, but I never have the heart to keep him in the stable back at home. This one, hmm, 
needs to run wild and free. <laughs> I could... I could learn a thing or two from him. I'm having to participate in the games today. Definitely not by choice, I assure you. Each clan was invited to present their firstborn heir to compete for your lady's betrothal. My father accepted the invitation without consulting me. It's always been that way for me, even as a young lad. I was never given any time to play with the village children. I was always kept inside, taught how to read, write, speak, eat, and dress like proper nobility. I even learned how to wield a sword when I was but ten years of age. I had my entire life laid out before me, and I never had a chance to, to choose my fate. It's, uh, suffocating, as you might imagine. He demands that I win today. Not only to bring glory to our clan, but to win the hand of the young lady of this estate. An outdated tradition, really. That may have been the way of past generations, but we are in a new age. Everyone deserves to live freely and love who they wish. <sighs> I just don't think I could ever come to love a woman I've never even met, much less marry her. Uh, but father would have my head on a platter if I failed. This alliance, uh, it means everything to him. He'd be ashamed if I refused to go along with it. Sometimes I... I wish I could take off and never look back. Write my own story and find love... in my own time. Mm. I bet you a bag of silver that the young lady feels exactly the same. She must loathe this whole ordeal more than anybody, don't you think? Being given away like a prize to any man that knows how to wave around a sword? I feel for the poor girl, really. If she's going through anything like I am, then it can't be easy. I only wish for her... the same freedom I yearn for. Ah, Pardon me, friend. I'm afraid I overshared my thoughts. Please, pay no mind to my rambling. Ah. That's my cue. Sorry to cut this conversation short. It's time for me to head off to the grounds. It has been a pleasure. I hope to see you again during our stay. Hopefully you will have waved off your bashfulness by then and decide to speak. <laughs> well, until we meet again, yes? Sorry, mate. Looks like this round belongs to me. I will say that you truly put up an excellent fight. There were quite a few moments where I felt her movements stagger just the slightest bit. <laughs> Still, you had me catching my breath a couple of times back there. Good on you. Here, let me help you back on your feet. <sighs> Hopefully, we'll have a chance to spar under different circumstances. I'll see you later at the feast, yes? <laughs> I'll be there with a warm pint ready for you. Now, go get yourself patched up before you cut yourself on the tip of your own blade. Alright, old boy. You made it this far. Final round. Every opponent thus far has been a skilled swordsman in their own right. This next fight may as well be the most difficult one yet. You and this MacGuffin fellow... With best that every other eligible suitor among the great clans. He's an especially strong one, too. He knocked down most of his competitors with just the sheer force of his strength. This will be a challenge. But if you win this, perhaps Father will have one less reason to mount your head in the wall for stealing an extra iced bun from the kitchens. Right. Let's get a move on. I hope you're ready for a real fight, MacGuffin. I love you know that I don't plan on going easy on you. Hold on, who's this? It's not MacGuffin. Wait, I recognize that cloak from this morning. You? 
You're that hooded fellow I nearly knocked over with my horse. What on earth are you doing here? You don't want to be caught in the middle of a duel, do you? You could get hurt waltzing into the fray like that. Please, let me escort you back to the audience. And just what do you intend to do with that blade of yours, friend? You drew it out rather... purposefully. <sighs> oh, is that how it is? <laughs> I was expecting to fight that large bulk of a brute, but it seems you got to him first. I certainly can't refuse a surprise challenger, especially if you lunge at me like that. All right, friend. If it's a fight you want, yeah, but it's a fight you'll get. Let's make this duel one for the history book, shall we? <clears throat> they definitely didn't give off this lively air at the stables. They refused to utter a single word the entire time I spoke with them. Couldn't even look me in the eye. How surprising if they'd come to challenge me all of a sudden. I suppose I'll just have to prove to them that I'm no novice when it comes to wielding a blade. <laughs> I must say, I thought you to be merely privy. Concealing your identity as you were. You lunge at me out of nowhere as if you want to put your skill up against my own. I just can't imagine why a villager from a powerful lord's estate would want to cross swords with the heir of another clan. But I will tell you what I do think. You're definitely hiding more under that disguise than just your face, aren't you? <clears throat> oh, did I strike a nerve? You suddenly went full offense. <clears throat> you have flawless technique, I'll give you that. But I'm not one to go down easily, friend. If you want to defeat me, you have to come at me with everything you've got. <clears throat> ah, flawless doesn't even begin to describe how they fight. They're really my claymore with such ease. Each swing they take at me is swifter and more powerful than the last. Surprising for such a small fellow. The grace of their movements is like nothing I've ever seen. They're so light on their feet. Free, like a leaf blowing in the wind, and each sharp, like an arrow staying true to its target. It's almost as if they're dancing. Bewitchingly so. It's incomparable to any of those dull, uniform motions I learned for court. This one is wild. Passionate and... Ah! Oh! Hi. I lost. Would you look at that? I lost. <laughs> In all my years of training and perfecting the art, I never once thought I'd find sword fighting to be quite this exhilarating. Oh, my heart's still pumping with the most excitement it's ever had. That was... That was something else entirely, my friend. I've never seen anyone wield a blade like that. Where did you learn to fight? And more importantly, just who are you? I know I've been beat, but I'd like to know the identity of the mysterious challenger who overwhelms me with their mastery. Oh? Are you going to take off that hood of yours? Finally getting over your bashfulness? <laughs> A woman. A beautiful one at that. I thought only the firstborn heirs could participate in this tournament. Firstborn daughter? But that could only mean... You're the young lady of this estate, aren't you? Everyone's staring at her like she's grown a second head. That can't be good. Then again, it is fairly unheard of. A lady of noble status participating in combat, and during a gathering of the great clans, no less. Completely uncouth for one such as herself. Her lady-in-waiting must have gotten her knickers in a twist at the sight. Still, I can't help but find her character... <laughs> charming. Alluring, even. Oh no. Here comes her father. Mmm, and mine. Am I ever looking forward to this? Looks
looks as if our little game is over, my lady. Our fathers look like they're about to give us a good tongue lashing. We might as well get on with it. I don't think any excuse we give can convince them otherwise. Oh, what? My lady, wait! Where are we running off to? Get on the horse! No, I'm, I'm not getting on the horse until you tell me... Oh, gods, all right! I, I, I hope you know where we're going. <laughs>